Hello, I'm Professor Wool, and today we'll discuss the benefits of mapping firewall rules to business applications. So imagine you're a firewall uh, administrator working at a bank, uh, and it's time for the annual rule recertification effort, so you need to go over all the firewall rules and decide whether those rules uh, deserve to remain uh, where they are, or maybe they need to be retired. So your starting point is something like this. You have your green firewall with its rules, your blue firewall with its rules, and if you look at one of these firewalls, you can see rules saying from sources to destinations with certain services, and you are asked, you are tasked to find out whether some of these rules can be finally retired. Uh, and at this point, you don't know too much. What you do know is uh, some of the network segmentation, so possibly you know that the green firewall is actually the firewall protecting the uh, one of the DMZs from uh, the outside internet, and the blue firewall is protecting the data center over here from and separating it from uh, the various DMZs in the organization, so you are aware of the networking segmentation, but you still don't know what each of these rules is really for, why it's there, who put it there, and maybe you can get rid of it. Let's contrast this level of information with what's going on in the application repository. So the application owners in the organization have an application repository system uh, in which they have a record of a trading application that belongs to the professional banking line of business and uh, supports the European region and is structured more or less like this. There is a trading system, the traders connect to it using HTTPS, uh, there is a foreign exchange feed, uh, and both of these systems connect to the database sitting behind all this. So this is the viewpoint for the application owners. Um, now if this system, the application repository system, is properly integrated with the network security policy management system that is aware of these rules, then a good system, a well integrated system, can map the applications to the firewall rules uh, automatically. Imagine that uh, such a system would automatically annotate all of these rules and add a comment here saying that this rule is really part of the trading application and these two rules are also part of the uh, trading business application and there are such systems that can achieve this annotation for you if you have these annotations on the rules then when it comes time to recertify the rule you're no longer in the NARC. You can look at the rule and say, ah, this rule belongs to or supports the trading application. And then you can go talk to the people in charge of the trading application and find out whether the rule is still necessary and what it's for and so forth. Uh, and this could also apply to rules that might belong to multiple applications. So such a rule allowing traffic from anywhere to uh, this destination might in fact support additional applications, not just the trading application. So you'd have an annotation with multiple uh, business applications supported by that one rule. So the takeaway point here is that a good network security policy management system that integrates between the application repository and the firewall rules is a tremendous value to people managing the firewall rules uh, and empowers them to know what the, these rules are really for. Thank you for your attention.